Oh! Oh, that was definitely cut. Oh! It, does this stuff happen in Canada? Generic intro in the deck goes me here. Back with another kill count reaction. Today we're doing My Bloody Valentine from 1981. I did not know that this was a movie. I only know it as a song. But for some reason it looks like there's a character wearing like a gas mask or something like that in the thumbnail. This is apparently a Valentine's Day special that James did or Dead Meat did for this. And, and we're interrupting the Nightmare on Elm Street episodes. Which you want to check out my reaction to the kill count for 3 and 4. I'll leave my reaction to that right up there. Also link down below in the description. Also in a place on my channel with all my other kill Counts going in chronological order. I've been watching all of those, considering I have not seen like really any of the movies that I have done kill counts for. I've seen a couple of videos by like Nostalgic Reddit that covered some of them, but most of them I'm going in them for the very first time, completely blind, knowing nothing about the characters or anything like that. Just like this video, I'm going into it completely blind. I do read all your comments, though, so leave some down below whether you're subscribed or whether you are this is your first video whether you like the video or anything like that i do read your comments so leave some down below also shout out to the patrons because they get all the videos day early and i could not do this if it was not for them three dollars a month to get you all my reaction videos day early which is like 16 videos a week minimum usually and then sometimes most of the time it's probably more but i really could not do this if it was not for the patrons. So shout out to all these people and even the people that aren't on the screen that are my other patrons so shout out to them we're doing my bloody valentine which has a decent amount of views has more views than nightmare on elm street 5 so it must be a pretty good video so let's go ahead and jump on into it all right, and I should be beating Delta Rune Chapter Two alternate Welcome route to the kill count. today. We F5. tally up the victims and all. Yeah, this is a Valentine's Day I'm special. I'm Janice, and today we're looking at My Bloody Valentine, a Canadian film released in 1981. Canadians. Like Black Christmas <laughs> and Halloween before it, My Bloody Valentine I'm in the is before. a simple slasher that takes place during Sim a holiday. My Bloody Valentine sets itself apart by having working class characters who are young adults instead of high school students, and by taking place in a tiny Canadian mining town. The quaint setting oh, well. alone is enough for me to enjoy it. Why is it driving like that? Amazing gore that we're oh. really lucky to see. The MPAA cut a reported nine minutes of graphic footage from this bad nine boy when minutes? it was released. And it wasn't until 2009 that Lionsgate released a version with three minutes restored to it. You'll know when it was the previous three of the nine footage minutes. because it'll look grainier and not as good as the rest of the movie. And also because it'll be insanely gory stuff. If uh. you're ready for that, then I am too. So let's get to the kills. Okay. The movie begins in fact, they cut mine. nine Come minutes on. out of it. Just when you think you're about to see two good old-fashioned blue-collar miners whistling while they work, one of them starts stripping down, and that bod don't look uh, dopey at all. Before these two can join the Mile Low Club, though, the this properly dressed miner ruins the mood by shoving the lady looking... against some kind of metal rod in the wall. I was just watching the killing her Matt character video minutes of into the, the film. Cave. With the opening kill out of the way, we get our drippily animated title card. Copyright 1981 Secret Film Coing. It's two days before <laughs> Valentine's Day, and these miners are clocking out for the day. Such dirty boys. Better hit the showers. And why not have a slap fight while you're in at. the shower yeah, scrubbing down and definitely not looking at each other's dicks they talk about the town's upcoming valentine's day party gonna be a hot time on saturday night yeah! they're so eager to get back into town that they wind up doing an extended vaudevillian sequence getting in their oh, cars what to this fucking music the cars are so de what is that beetle as they drive into town, we get some nice shots of Sydney Mines, Nova Scotia, the actual mining oh, community filling okay. in for Valentine Bluffs, the little town with the big heart. With Valentine a name Bluffs? Like that, Is this really like Desert Bluffs? Celebrate Valentine's Welcome Day to Night Vale. Dance, and that's why all the minor girlfriends, they're not under 18, they're the girlfriends <laughs> of the miners, are decorating Probably a miner. the event. Mayor Hanniger, who also owns the mine we just saw, isn't too pumped though. The town hasn't had a V-Day dance in 20 years because of why an not? as of yet unknown tragedy that happened back then. But this lady Mabel doesn't let him put a damper on her excitement. Maybe her enthusiasm will be quelled by a dead body falling on her. Just kidding, that dude ain't dead. It's just mining uh, apprentice Howard being a big goof. Mayor Hanniger okay. reprimands him and goes inside, which instantly upsets his son TJ, who's recently returned to town after having failed to make it big out on the West Coast. It's not my fault he couldn't make it on his own. But now that he's uh, back here, He's my son, and he's working in the mine. Even worse, he's TJ's ex-girlfriend Sarah started dating his bro Axel while he was gone. Tough break. Oh. On his way out the door, TJ bumps into Chief Newbie, played by Don Franks, who has a ton of fun facts about him. For instance, like his what? nickname was Iron Buffalo, and he was the first voice of Boba Fett when the character appeared in the atrocious Star Wars Holiday Special. Which, by the way, <laughs> the you can watch drunk to and making jokes about in a video here. <laughs> I As think he this sounds weird. If that's the same one I'm thinking about. Valentine's Day gift someone left for Papa Hanniger. There's a threatening note warning the mayor not to forget about the past attached to the heart-shaped box and he may yeah, be forever well. in debt to that priceless advice because inside mm. is an actual bloody human heart that night at the cage a much less kinky uh. bar than it sounds like <laughs> yeah, Happy gives off some crazy ralph vibes as he tells the movie's backstory to the audience and this barfly who looks like he stumbled in from a shipwreck 20 years ago well, he looks like that old valentine's day dance that was so bumpy the these two mining supervisors dipped out early to hit it up since they didn't check the methane levels on their way out a big explosion happened that trapped five miners underground all while the dance oh, went well. on and the supervisors laughed and drank after a six-week effort 
effort to dig the bodies out, the rescuers Six found one of the miners, Harry Warden, still alive, having survived on a healthy diet of miner forearm. Again, oh, that's the forearm of a mining dig, there's not of an underage child. Games Harry and movies went about to a this. State mental hospital, but returned to town exactly one year later, celebrating Valentine's Day 1961 by murdering the two irresponsible mining supervisors. We only see uh, one of the murders on screen, but since we hear that he cut out seven. both their hearts and left them in candy boxes, I guess it and we see two bloody boxes at that night's Valentine's Day dance, I'll go ahead and count both of them on the list. The end of the Fair. legend is that every February 14th, Harry Warden returns to town and slinks around the Hanniger mine to make sure no one's having any Valentine's Day fun, or else in the kill mine. him with his pickaxe. Happy warns the kids not to have the dance, but he's not taken super seriously. <laughs> Happy's not the only one pissing on this bar night's parade. There is a lot of tension going on between TJ, who looks real uncomfortable in this mining town, and his Axel. ex Sarah, who tells him it's his own fault for leaving like he did, and Axel, who seems to be pretty controlling and insecure about Sarah now that TJ's returned. Speaking of people uh, who have returned to town, looks like Harry Warden is strolling down the street, breathing heavily in his mining mask during a classic early slasher POV shot. He watches Mabel work yeah, on the look through she a window. gives her a gift while she's in the back. She finds it and reads the note that has another she's so happy. in it, and then the lights go out and Mabel is attacked by the mining man. He gets her on the ground like he has and a flashlight off screen with his pickaxe, but the off-screen death is made up for when Newbie finds her the next day in one of her dryers. Her body burns uh. to a crisp as the tumble cycle finishes. And this is the kind of stuff that, that was only recently restored, as you can see by the quality of the footage. The effects look great, though, and it honestly <laughs> took me back the that? first time I saw it. The mining boys have a junkyard party where TJ and Axel finally have an open conversation about their little situation. Only after Ooh. an impromptu harmonica duet, though, of course. <laughs> It, does this stuff happen yeah, in Canada? Axel's position <laughs> the, is that Sarah's also the Canadian now, tuxedo. It's TJ's fault for leaving town like he did. While TJ says it's obvious that Sarah really wants to be with him. This is the kind of interesting character stuff that makes me really enjoy this movie. You get the prodigal son aspect of TJ's character uh, and a murky love triangle played realistically. For instance, the next day, Sarah's that, chatting um, to her friend yeah, Patty about how realistic. both dudes kind of suck right now, with TJ always sulking and Axel just being kind of a doucher. Newbie calls the mental hospital that Harry Warden was committed to, but the lady there can't find any records of him, which means he Wait, was either so he Transferred, or never went or there. Deceased. Between that alarming oh, piece of news what? and Mabel's perm press body, the mayor orders the dance canceled. Newbie locks up Union Hall and tells the kids that come Valentine's That's Day, not... Valentine Bluffs will essentially be the town for Footloose. No dance is allowed. No, the mining boys continue to feud, almost getting into a dancing? subterranean brawl before the supervisor breaks them up. And after work, TJ goes into town and friggin' abducts Sarah. Will you stop this? I don't want to go with you. Are you listening? You don't even try. <laughs> God. Nope. Okay, dude. Pretty sure kidnapping's a felony here in the yeah, States, but maybe things are different up in Canada. He takes nope, her right near sure the still, beach, boy, and they have a heartfelt sure conversation about there. how he was too ashamed to write or call after he ate shit out west. It's a nice character <laughs> scene with the perfect touch of Canadian to it. I'm sorry. I'm so damn sorry. And it ends with sorry. that kissing on the coastline. At Happy's Bar, the kids uh, have the bright idea to have a Valentine's Day party in place of the canceled dance. TJ offers up his father's mind as a location, and the others think that's a great idea. Happy warns not. them against it, but TJ's all like, dude, can you just fuck off with that Harry Warden shit for just one second, please? No. And they agree with a cheer to party on. He's though. trying to Happy warn them. to the mining facility, drunk on his own wares, and sets up a little pickaxe prank to get back at the miner bros for making fun of him. He has this compulsion oh. to keep checking it and making sure it works. And then one time, time it's going to be... The door like an infant playing peekaboo, but on his last QC, he opens the door to find a miner man and a pickaxe through the throat and out the oh. eye. Holy oh, shit. that was God definitely damn. cut. That is oh. obviously footage that was cut. And no oh. wonder. That shit looks <laughs> amazingly disgusting. The next night, the party is on, and you know it's gonna be a good one because Hollis is already juggling before everyone's through the door. There's a whole bunch of characters here, but aside uh, from our Twilight style love triad, the jokes are still never seen Howard, Twilight. Patty, who's also Hollis's girlfriend, nobody really makes too much an impression. So when this dude Dave heads to the kitchen to grab a snack, it's no big it deal does. that he's our next victim. With the mining gear clad, oh, no, not in the hot dog water. No, not in the hot dog water. water. Dave gets his head boiled. Yeah, no, that would really hurt. Inside some hot dogs, and honestly, boiled Dave face probably tastes better than boiled hot dogs. That shit's gross. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the police station, newbie walks outside to find a bunch of stray dogs chomping at a bloody candy box. The note attached tells Newbie that he failed to stop the party, confusing him enough to shout uh, out into the empty night air. What damn party? This damn party, where <laughs> Howard is snorting soda through his nose, because I guess that passes for entertainment in Nova Scotia. Sarah and Axel get into a tiff, <laughs> TJ butts in, and when Axel tries to tell TJ off in so many words, Sarah Is this what they do when they're not playing hockey? Do you mind? I have my own mouth, thank you. She says she's sick of being the Bella of this ball. A plague on both your houses. A full-on fist fight erupts, and Axel's definitely got the upper hand. So it's up to good bro Hollis to break these boys up. Better storm out of there with a super dramatic beer can opening, Axel. Nice, dude. Stick the landing with so that much. door. Perfect. You've earned yourself a private corner cry. Go ahead and get gross with it. When Teach tries apologizing to Sarah, she voices what the audience is thinking. I just don't care anymore. Now we're in the locker room area, Oof. where another miner, John, is making out with this chick, Sylvia. He leaves to go get uh, some beer. 
Spears, a classic slasher setup to get a victim alone, and narrowly what? avoid seeing you, Dave's uh, body in the freezer when he grabs a six pack. Some girls find Dave's heart, but it just looks like any other boiled fucking meat, which is to say totally uh, gross, so it doesn't even- Are they gonna eat the hot dogs? Waiting for John, Sylvia starts that to get scared uh, after someone turns on all the shower faucets and then begins to drop all the mining gear down onto her. Okay, Sylvia, uh, you're scared, so how do we convey that? Maybe try running around, grabbing your head, and yelling no? Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, that's that's Excellent. rough. Happy's body drops down too to scare her even more, and then the mining man shows up and grabs her by the head uh, to carry her into the bathroom area. And, and this was also cut. One of those shower pipes. A lot of blood coming out of her there, and it's a pretty uh, sweet image that looks like it was mostly cut. What the hell did they even leave in this movie? I don't. John <laughs> after briefly getting excited by the prospect Does he of actually, shower sex, finds her body did he watch and realizes with that? alarm that he will not, in fact, be getting laid tonight. Okay, <laughs> so you're scared. So to convey that, you're gonna. Oh, great! Uh, you already know we're the doing that yet. again. Good okay, work. Yep. Daddy wants to take a trip into the mine to cheer. Sarah up and distract her from her double fuckboy problem. She convinces Hollis, Howard, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your names, but like come Matt along Matt. anyway so we can get a couple more kills. TJ tries to tell him no, but the six of them promise they'll be right back up in no time. Here's a fun Bad idea. Guess how many of them won't? Going down to the no, mine does seem like a pretty them. fun time, especially with the beer and blankets they've got and friggin' Hollis as their Jungle Cruise captain leading the way. Jungle it's like Cruise an underground cat. roller coaster. Just like the kind I'd always try to make in Roller Coaster Tycoon until the game told me those rides were too intense for the uh, Once red they're down there, Hollis starts a tour but the red shirt couple, whose names are Mike and Harriet, break off from the rest of the tour group to go have some hanky panky. Back up topside, one of those kitchen gals has finally found Dave's body, and John bursts in with the news uh, that Sylvia has been killed as well. This obviously causes well, I, a bit of a sensation. I mean, he survived. Harry Warden, he's here! Everybody get the fuck out! And everyone does get the fuck out. TJ tries the phone and finds the line cut. Then he tells Axel about the group underground. So while the rest of the party hightails it out of there, the two of them head to the elevator so they can go on an and underground rescue. And now it's going to be saved as five. As leads Sarah, Howard, and Patty out of the or line, they hear some six, lights breaking yeah, behind them. They can't see it, but Mining Man is going on a rampage, busting out lights to get things nice and spooky Also, when the did they act. hear the, the sound? TJ, who tells them Harry Warden is back, and they're gonna be in trouble. Hey now, hey now, Dave and Sylvia are dead. When Hollis tells him of Mike and Harriet's sexual detour in the mines, they split up to find them, leaving Howard behind to stay with the lady. Literally, oh, they split up. That's Hollis a wants terrible idea. The right way, no, not Hollis. The couple. Dead? They're lying there with a big old drill bit impaled straight through the both of them. A decent oh. kill, but not overly bloody, so why is that footage so grainy? Was that seriously cut from this film, too? The Maybe the all of it was. The nail into a nail gun that he then puts to Hollis's head. And no, shoots. Hollis! But it's gonna take more than a poke in the head to put down this old dog. So Mining Man loads another nail into the gun, puts it back up to Hollis's head again, and fires a second time. Yep, that ought to do it. Hollis is looking fucked uh. He's able to stumble away and make it back to die in front of Howard and the girls. Great job, Hollis. You probably just scarred them forever. You yeah, literally. Just died back there on your own, huh? The trio uh. sees Mining Man headed towards them in the tunnel, and Howard takes the fuck off. Mining Man goes off Fair. into a side tunnel, but Howard doesn't stop booking it. He, he knows the tunnel's well. He's a coward. Patty what are the like, lives the rest death, of the year? Prompting a classic calm down slap from Sarah. And then the two what if it's not, wait a minute, what if it's, it's time to go? No what if it's not that guy? Maybe it's somebody soon joined impersonating by TJ, him. And the four of them start heading out, cause like, fuck Howard, I guess. Meanwhile, the other party goers have driven into town and given Sheriff Newby the lowdown. When he gets to the mine, he finds that the elevator isn't working. So you know that doesn't bode well for the people 2,000 feet below ground. Indeed, the elevator's all messed up on their end as well. So they realize the only thing they can do is climb the long, long ladder out of there. Patty has a real hard time of it. But even if she didn't, totally suck at climbing, they'd have another problem in their way since a body drops Ooh. down on a noose right in front of them. It's Howard and his oh. freaking head comes off. Oh shit. More grainy footage, of course. Of course. His body falling all the way down oh. to the floor of the mine and landing with a pretty sweet thud. Nice reveal of an off-screen kill there. For whatever reason, I'm still not clear here, they decided to just throw all their progress away at that moment and, and go back, back down, down the ladder. Why? The their new plan is because to whatever is up top. Axel takes the lead, yeah. promising he knows a shortcut to get there. But after TJ and the girls get a little bit ahead of him, they hear Axel cry out and a big splash in some water. They go back to where they left him, and it looks like the dude fell into the 60 feet deep water. Is it, is, you want to try to help him out? Is Axel? Going? It's too late for us. Is Axel the killer? Okay, abandonment it is. And now it's TJ's turn to send the others ahead and disappear off screen with a loud noise. The girls continue on their own, but they don't make it very far before Patty gets huh. a pickaxe to the gut from the mining oh. man coming around the corner. She takes a good long while to die, staring up at the murderer as she slinks to the ground and even giving him a bit of a hard time when he's like, oh, okay, I need my pickaxe. Back. Yeah, Sarah <laughs> runs off and is enjoying her new official final girl status when she runs into Fine. TJ who's bleeding from the head, but he says not to worry about it. They make it back to the uh, mine part when the murderer just, shows is that up, a, ready to mine No, wait, bodies. no, well, there they think he is. Or maybe it's both of them working together. The mining cart as it heads back to the surface. Are they going to be running from mining cart to mining cart? Yeah. Meanwhile, newbies' reinforcements finally arrive at the facility.
facility and he tells them the elevator no working, so they head down the same tunnel the mining cart is in. But TJ and the mining man have a fight that eventually knocks them off the cart again, and Sarah jumps oh, off well. to help out her man because she ride or die like that. They have the matchup we've always wanted to see, pickaxe versus shovel, and the fight leads <laughs> the two of them and Sarah into a little side room that looks like it has a few too many load-bearing pillars. How about you guys take care of that for us? Thanks! Mining man oh, eventually well. gets the better of TJ, but before he and can it's take gonna this cave knife in. and do the damn thing, Sarah leaps up and unmasks him to find out that it's Axel! Uh -huh. Of course, TJ asks why, and we're treated to a flashback where it's revealed that Axel was the son of one of the mining supervisors who got murdered 20 years ago, and oh, right I mean, in front Axel, of him? you've actually got to communicate this stuff. TJ and Sarah can't see this flashback you're having. His zone's about it, long it, enough for TJ to hit him with a rock, and then the room starts collapsing in on them. TJ and Sarah make it out safely and right as Newbie and Co. Okay, arrive, well. and TJ tells his dad and Newbie that the killer wasn't Harry Warden, it was Axel. The rescue mission finds Axel's hand in the wreckage uh, and yell that he's alive. So Sarah that's not a good thing for whatever reason. When she goes to touch his arm, though, he grabs her. Surprising, given that he's actually cutting that arm off uh, of mine. Dude, you gotta wait at least 100 odd hours to resort to that shit. They pull his arm fair, out, yeah. but, you know, just his arm, and watch as Axel gallops away into the mine, uh, laughing uh, crazily and telling Sarah to be his bloody valentine. Was this supposed to be like a sequel? Under a song about Harry Warden that actually Neil isn't Neil Affleck, wait a minute. <laughs> Valentine's Day. But you didn't watch this to hear the ballad of Harry Ward, and you watched it to see people get killed and their bodies tallied up. So let's check our work this and was, get to the numbers. I mean, you could kind of see where it was going, you know, Call a masked me. killer Aww. with drama between the characters. 16 people died in my blood. Wow. Valentine. The victims consisted of 11 guys and five Compared girls. to Nightmare on Elm Street one, with like six or ratio. seven. With a runtime of 93 minutes, that comes out to a kill on average every 5.81 minutes. Solid, I'll the golden solid number. Solid number. Cool as kill to Happy. A lot of great deaths in this movie, but Happy is... actually made me yell aloud when that pickaxe came out through his eyes. Uh -huh. The machete for lamest kill will go to Patty, whose slow lingering death after a simple pickaxe and... to the gut was a letdown after every other kill was pretty inventive. And that's it. My bloody I Valentine guess this was really like shocking more than... And alongside Black Christmas, kind of cements my love for early Canadian slashers. And just like with that movie, oh. they did make a remake of this, but I'm sorry I couldn't find the time to cover that one too this year. Does he do Cheer it? Cheer up. Does Friday do is Nightmare 5, The Dream Child, and until then... The I'm Dream gonna Child? Is, We're going to do that, the kill what, which Thanks will be 5 and 6? That'll be out like next a couple of my Saturday? Like Ryan Witten and Yutaka Tamanaha. If you want to join the Patreon wow, family, great click pronunciation. that button right over there. Depending on how much you pledge, you get different rewards. For instance, $5 yeah. and up gets you early releases of every video. That's why you see comments that posted the day before a video came out. It's not Black Magic, it's Patreon. Thank you for watching, and most important, be good people. People still comment on my videos asking about, they're like, wait, this video is only an hour old. Why is there a comment from 20 hours ago? And everybody's just like, Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> they're like ah you skipped the intro i see and that's why i have to repeat myself so many times because people ask questions that i cover in the intro but they just skip it <laughs> so that's why people are like you don't have to repeat yourself no i absolutely do when you read uh, a ton of comments you see a lot of the same questions being asked so this was my bloody valentine though where it was actually axel who came back okay that okay and then he ran off into the mine which is certainly something so okay, now this was this was a solid movie. I, why have I never heard of it before, and why do I only know of it as a song uh, that came out a couple of years ago? Uh, I'm sure there's other, there's the other thing called Bl my buddy my bloody Valentine or just bloody Valentine in general. So definitely let me know what those are because I feel like it's definitely kind of a common uh like title, which I'm not sure like how they can have so many things named bloody Valentine. I wonder where it even originated from because it seems like it's kind of used i feel like there's it's used other places as well but this was a canadian slasher just like black christmas was apparently next week we're gonna get back to the nightmare on elm street with five and six the final nightmare but then that's not because then we have wes craven's new nightmare and freddy versus jason and then we also have the 2010 remake but we also have the strangers and president's day I don't know. Be on the lookout for stuff coming out in the channel. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope I made it a tiny little bit better. But until next video, take care and cutie music.